Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. For the fruits of his creation, thanks be to God. For the gifts of every nation, thanks be to God. For the plowing, sowing, reaping, silent growth while men are sleeping, future needs and earth's safe keeping, thanks be to God. In the just reward of labor, God's will be done. In the help we give our neighbor, God's will be done. In our worldwide task of caring for the hungry and despairing, in the harvest men are sharing, God's will is done. For the harvest of his spirit, thanks be to God. For the good all men inherit, thanks be to God. For the works that astound us, for the truths that still confound us, most of all that love has found us, thanks be to God. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. O oh Lord, remember David and all the many hardships he endured, the oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes, to my eyelids I will give no slumber, till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the strong one of Jacob. At Erratha we heard of the ark. We found it in the plains of Yermon. Let us go to the place of his dwelling. Let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest, you and the ark of your strength. Your priest shall be clothed with holiness. Your faithful shall ring out their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, I will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant in truth and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priest with salvation. And her faithful shall ring out their joy. There David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to suffer and be overwhelmed by death in order to open the gates of death in triumph. Stay with us to help us on our pilgrimage. Free us from all evil by the power of your resurrection. In the company of your saints and constantly remembering your love for us, may we sing of your wonders in our Father's house. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship all people will obey him. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now, have salvation and power come. 
the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 3. All of you should be like-minded, sympathetic, loving towards one another, kindly disposed, and humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. Return a blessing instead. This you have been called to do, that you may receive a blessing as your inheritance. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. Honey from the rock to our heart's content, bread of the finest wheat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. Let us call upon Christ, the Good Shepherd, who has come to the aid of his people. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Blessed are you, Lord, for you graciously called us into your holy church. Keep us within the church until death. You have given the care of all the churches to our Pope. Give him unfailing faith, lively hope, and loving concern. Grant the grace of conversation to all center, sinners and the grace of true repentance to all men. You are willing to live as a stranger in our world. Be mindful of those who are separated from family and homeland. To all the departed who have hoped in you, grant eternal peace. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we thank you for guiding us through the course of this day's work. In your compassion, forgive the sins we have committed through human weakness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.